Welcome back everyone to a new gameplay series on Advanced Tactics Gold, and this one a little bit of a special one because I have a multiplayer series lined up with um, a very special guest, in fact someone who's <laughs> uh, quite an important figure in my own life, in fact it's my own father, go ahead and say hello. Hello. <laughs> so thanks for joining, um, I'm really excited about this, so my father is the reason why I even know about hex games. We used to play, I guess we didn't get too far in Global War, but we, we played quite a bit of Panzer Blitz, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, that was, um, that was fun. <laughs> and it, this is a lot easier to clean up than the actual, <laughs> all those chits and counters and stuff, so. Um, yeah, but you knew we were playing a real game then too, so we won't talk about that. Yeah, yeah, you can't, it is, I'm in a miss feeling the feel of the little cardboard pieces that you move around, but, uh, but there's a lot more replayability with a map which can be generated, even though that one had like three different segments that you could rotate any which way and they would lock into the, to the other maps, which was really cool, but, you know, this has the advantage of, you can generate any map you want, so... It also has another advantage is that when a cat walks across the board, it doesn't mess the game up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is, I swear, the way I won that time. Uh, I mean, not the way I won that time. <laughs> <laughs> you mean when you cheated? Okay, yeah, how we'll the stack was, the cat put all those there. <laughs> uh, okay, anyways, well, let's get into um, what we're going to be doing is a new Dawn random game. And I'm going to show you the setup we're doing, small two-player land world. We're going to do mirrorish so that it's pretty even. In fact, this is the settings I used to create the game. But um, I, we actually did a little bit, well, I did a lot of editing after the, the game map was created. But if you want to get something very similar to what we did, we're going to be doing small two-player land world, mirrorish, costly research, stone age. But I will be adding some research back. Then we're going to use resources. And then on the extra settings, we're going to have big as a continental size just to eliminate a lot. I mean, with... Land world, you're not going to get too much water, but um, I don't like islands. We, I kept refreshing the map generation until we didn't get islands. Because one of the um, gentlemen's agreements we have is not to use ships. So we just picked a, a map where that's a logical conclusion anyways. So limited initial roads and natural coastlines. Another initial agreement we have is not to use air power, which is going to make things like, let's slug it out in the trenches type stuff. But... Um, so we hit make on this, it gives us into, this is not going to be the map we play on, but just gives you an idea, so this is one I would definitely not want to play on because of the, the islands, but for another time, I haven't done a, a naval playthrough yet, so, um, okay, well anyways, let's just pull up the scenario we will be doing, so I'm opening it right here, and chug chug chug, voila, I'll go in to edit this one just so we get a quick view of what the map looks like before we begin playing. So here we are, I'll zoom out. This is the map that, it's pretty even. I, I quite like it. Um, a lot of forest, a lot of mountains, because my, the way I understand things, it gets to be really, really armor favored if you have too much planes. And this might even be too much planes, but we'll, we'll see as things go along. Um, so we have on the east side, on the right, I will be playing as Mother Russia. And uh, my father will be the fatherland in the West. You see what I did there? <laughs> ah, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, well, I need, a, I need to find a new multiplayer opponent who can actually laugh at my jokes. Can <laughs> When you start telling some good ones, I think I will laugh at them. Fair enough. All right. Well, the good thing is my channel isn't based on humor. Otherwise, I'd probably have zero subscribers. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you'd be... Uh... It goes or negative saying, subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> People would be unsubscribing without even ever subscribing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we have on the, like I said, the East, the Russians, and everything's pretty mirrored. Um, we added, I added a stream to the, except for the very center area, there's a stream to like uh, follow the national borders. And I guess we had another agreement not to attack each other for like five or ten turns or something. Something. Yeah, it's a fun agreement if we don't 
exactly know how many turns it is, right? <laughs> I'll say five and you say ten, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can attack the turn after I attack you. That's the way it works. Hey, that, if we don't start at war, there is a small political point penalty for attacking first, but we might just start at war so that nobody has to, since we're doing the gentleman's agreement anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll iron out the details later. This is just a br brief teaser to get people interested in the play by email multiplayer series, which will be coming up soon. So, uh, I don't know, do you have any comments on the map or anything? Yeah, I have, uh, you know, a very interesting uh, layout with a few uh, looks like puddles here and there with those same hex uh, lakes. Um, mm -hmm. And then the, uh, I'm enjoying the hockey players that are waiting to face off against each other. So yeah, one of yeah. <laughs> well, we are starting in the Stone Age, so I guess it's appropriate, but I can switch those over to the uh, bread runners. Looks like they're running with a loaf of bread or something. <laughs> uh, uh, Hand-shaped pistol, I guess. Yeah, um, but that's what we get for a Stone Age start. But you actually bring up a good point, or you made me remember a point that I wanted to discuss. Despite starting a Stone Age, I modified it so that we do have the basic infantry. Stone Age would normally give you only riflemen, but I'm also going to give us machine gun and mortars to start, and submachine guns. So, and on top of that, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've given us... No, I'm going to give us, like, maybe 400 political points to spend immediately, just so uh, we can start diversifying in some other... in any way we'd like. So, gosh, I, I think that's about all we wanted to say on this first... Uh, this first video, or this zeroth video, really the, the prelude. Yeah, we haven't done anything yet. Yeah, well, that's it for us then. Stay tuned for episode one of Play by Email with Advanced Tactics Gold. Uh, that's goodbye from me, Tortuga Power, and my father. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.